after the Bahija was turned back to Australia, there was a proposal to take the more than 15,000 sheep and cattle to the Middle East the long way around. The Secretary of Agriculture delivered the bad news for WA farmers late on Monday. The application submitted on 26 January 2024 for the re-export of livestock on board the MV Bahaja to Israel via the Cape of Good Hope has not been approved by my department. The departmental regulator couldn't be satisfied that arrangements for the transport of livestock to their final destination were appropriate to ensure their health and welfare. The minister says that what happens next is not up to the government. That is a commercial decision now for the exporter. Uh, they have the responsibility to come up with a proposal uh, for what is done with these livestock now, uh, but the department has made clear that they stand ready and willing to assist the exporter. The plan at this stage is to try again. To remove the livestock from the sheep, uh, from the ship and uh, able to uh, return to quarantine, uh, the livestock will be rested for up to 10 days and then a permit will be reissued to re-export, hopefully. The sticking point is a legal challenge from the group's Animals Israel opposing the export. The animals are likely to stay on the Bahija until after the heat wave expected in the coming days. Mr Pearson says that during last week's high temperatures, it was much cooler on the boat. From the data collected from the ship, uh, during that 45, 46, uh, I think it was around the 20, 24 to 26 degrees uh, off Rock Nest. Mr Pearson says the alternative is processing onshore, but there is a backlog. David Webber, ABC News.